Genesis D3D Sculptor version 7.41 and this is the beginner's guide. I'm just going to go over the basics here. Okay, so click outside of the object with one finger to rotate. And you can rotate in any direction. And then two fingers to pan up down pinch to zoom and also have up here there's a touchpad in the bottom square to rotate and the top square to pan and then this side rectangle to zoom and you also have the project menu in the upper right corner here you would import or export your OBJs or open up the scene or save your scenes and also have access to the settings and gallery we have the main tools where you have symmetry on top, the brush menus. Um, this changes depending on the mode. And on the right sub menu, you have several tools here. And these changes for every mode. And the bottom dock, dock menu have the undos you can locate remesh and also you can use the box select and also add extra objects so just gonna add a, another object there and here if i press this eye icon i can hide the others I select this double click to select you can hide other icons and on top here is the camera tools you can switch to orthographics hide all the menus lock rotation add scene light and of course the touchpad here. We have matte cab where you can change the matte cab of the object. Take a screenshot and also wireframe. Just gonna change that back to none. So I'm going to show how to import an OBJ file. I'm going to type Deadpool. And you want the images to be in the same directory. So when it imports, it pulls in the images and apply it to the, the object. All right, and this is how we get that OBJ file in. All right, and in settings, we can change the background. So I'm gonna go to settings can change the color so I'll change it you have to hit apply for the color to stick all right so now I'll change the color here now if I want to change it to a different background has a couple of preset backgrounds that's put in place and now we have like a night background here. All right. Now, 
with in this menu I'm in sculpt mode and that's what the default mode is when you first start and the default is draw and double click to select and then you can draw on the object and this is just bringing them up increasing the vertices and you can change the radius with this and change the strength and depending on the mode this is to increase verted details this works more with the dynamic I'll go into that in more details next and in another video all right and you already see how to add object and if you don't see your object after you add it you can zoom out and the top icon here increases the scale but if you still don't see it you can click locate and that would direct you to it and if you want to just hide everything just click on the hide icon so you can see just that and you can also click on the right menu and go into the hierarchy here and select what do you want to look at or what you want to select you can also rename the objects click rename and we call it cylinder and this instance as soon as you make the changes there and if you want to clone, the copy icon is right here. You move it to the side, copy. And also, it's in two of those different locations. I'll go over that. Right. Gizmo. And if you want to delete, delete. You can also double click select. You can also delete from here. If you want to delete two things at the same time, let's click and delete. Yeah. Taking forever. There we go. I don't know. I'll go over that another time. Alright, so that's gone. Deleted. And if you want to recover, undo. And you will see the change there. Alright, and just going to add the matte caps. See the difference here. This is auto save. I'm not going to save right now. But. Now, if you want to see shadow with the lights, so I add the light here. By default, the light comes out with red. I'm gonna add a floor and increase the size. As you can see, it's, there's no shadow right now. So in order to get shadow, you have to switch to PVR. As you can see, the notifications here. So switch to that. And so pick that up. And there you have shadow. And the shadow is real time. So as you move the object, the shadow move with you. All 
All right. Just gonna switch back here. And you can change the color of the light. Let me go back here. You have to select the light first. And then you can change the color of the light. And you have different types of light here. And you can see the shadow of everything with this one. And I'm going to delete it. All right. Um, okay, now if, going back to the menu. As you click on the icon out here, the mode icon, you just toggle through all the different modes. And as you go through them, you can see the, the main menu and the sub menu is also changing. All right, so if you wanna add texture, Clicking that. There you have your texture added. Okay. And you can check the UV on it. And also, you can use the UV unwrap to fix any UV issues that you have. All right. I think I'm going to end, oh, let me just go over one brush here. All right, so I got this brush here and go over the stamp icon. It's going to switch and just say I want to put a, a eye on this OBJ that I imported. All right, double click to select. And you can see it's coming on, but I may have to increase the multiplier to get a larger size. And there we go. You can also draw in the textures. And also you can change the texture size. I don't recommend this for mobile, but you can, when you does it, it resets the image. So you don't want to do that all the time. You want to do that before you actually saw sculpting. And there we go. All right, so I'm gonna stop.